Ladies and gentlemen of Bachelor Nation, we have a breaking news report to come to you right now on this Tuesday morning. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic, host of Bachelor Nation News. And it looks like Blake Horseman and Gigi are expecting a baby. That's right. Congratulations to Gigi and Blake for the pregnancy announcement. Uh, Oh boy, Gigi, that means no more riding your horse, doctor's orders. So here we have the dual post here. Giannina Gibelli there says, first comes love, then comes baby H. We're so grateful that life has led us here and over the moon to be parents to our sweet baby coming spring 2024. Now, I knew about this for the last week uh, because apparently Gigi's been telling everybody at the nail salon. I don't even mean that as some sort of weird jab at her. Apparently, she's was at the nail salon telling everyone I'm having a baby. And that's how I found out. Because if you tell someone you're having a baby at a nail salon in Denver, Colorado... We're going to know. But either way, we let them make the announcement. And here we have Blake Horstman giving the old smooch to the the old cervix smooch. Is that the way to put it? No, that's not the cervix. What is that? That's just the belly button. There's a kid in there, folks. It's brewing. So here they are. Beautiful photos. She's got the bangs in the brunette look. She's got a few buttons on and a flowy, nice, you know, maternity dress thing. There they are. If you're a voyeur and you want to see how they look through a uh, single pane window, now you can. Uh, but very nice. I mean, she's kind of, I mean, who did she, does, she, does Gigi Gabelli look like Mandy Moore? I think she does. Sweet candy. Is that a song? Either way, there she is uh, with the belly. Very, a very small belly as far as, uh, you know, uh, terms go. So I'm assuming, look, I'm no expert. I'm guessing 12 weeks, 14 weeks. I think you're supposed to tell people at 12 weeks. Uh, so there they are, um, you know, uh, lounging as you do, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so great. Um, you know, these poses aren't exactly natural, but they look beautiful. This looks like out of the Titanic. Draw me, Jack. Uh, this is this is if Jack didn't die in the Titanic. Spoiler alert! Jack's dead, folks. That's right. She was cheating on her boyfriend. He provided her a free passage across the Atlantic. And how did she thank Billy Zane by banging, you know, Jack in a, you know, an antique bug? Uh, well, I guess it was an antique at the time. Either way, steamy. Uh, one thing that Rose and Jack have in common with Blake and Giannina here is that uh, they they consummated their relationship. Uh, that's how babies are made, folks. Oh, the old stork strikes again. So here's Blake in awe of of the feminine beauty there looking up towards one Giannina as he sort of holds the belly like he's a Harlem Globetrotter there. <laughs> do it. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So anyway, looking very nice. Uh, all fun. We've loved Blake. We've loved following their story. They met on All Star Shore. We'll get into that in a second. And um, so there they are now. Blake. Now here's a photo of Blake taking a photo. So very meta, but we enjoy meta. And congratulations are in order. Snooky even says congrats. Uh, Life with Deeps, of course, from uh, Love is Blind. We know Giannina was uh, at the altar of Love is Blind. Kelly Flanagan, congrats, my love. Even pilot Rachel Recchia, congrats to you both. Christina Mandrell, Kendall Long, Kevin Went. Uh, so the li- Lace says congrats. The list goes on. And speaking of Lace, isn't she pregnant? Let's let's go to Lace's pregnancy announcement. So let's go through all the, the pregnancy announcements. So she posted a week ago that she's pregnant. So we've got Lace. Then we have Blake. Um... I think Tenley is pregnant. Um, am I missing anybody? I kind of feel like there's somebody I'm missing here. That uh, Now, Thomas just had his baby. I know you guys are going to be in the comment section uh, leaving a comment here. There's somebody else that, I, whatever, It's I'll, it'll, it'll come to me. So either way, there they are. Now we go to Blake and Giannina's relationship timeline. Now the reason they both, well, the reason Blake said he went on All-Star Shore is because it was a show where they were competing for money. And because of that, they weren't allowed to mis-edit you because it's like, you know, I don't know. It, there's some sort of rule because you're, when you're competing for money and all of that jazz. So there they are. Uh, they met on that show and if you watched all-star shore they hit it off right away 
Now, don't get me wrong. She There was other guys fighting for Giannina's affection, as they do, but they hit it off right away. A match made in reality TV heaven? Blake Horseman and Giannina both made waves while looking for love on screen before joining forces. Bachelor Nation met Horseman when he competed for Becca Kufrin's affections in season 14 of The Bachelorette. After finishing as the runner-up, oh, wait, Natalie. Natalie and Nick are pregnant. That's who it was. Wow, geez. And I think there's somebody else. There's so many. Anyway, uh, love is in the air. Uh, after finishing as the runner-up on the 2018 season, uh, the DJ, uh, Blake Horseman, came under fire during season six of Bachelor in Paradise after his pre-show hookups with Kaylin and Christina, which, again, when we went into that story, it was revealed that he had nothing but consensual hookups with everybody. Here's what he had to say with our good friend Sarah over here as he discussed his time on the show. Um, what were your thoughts on their conversation and kind of their different pages? It seemed to me that Hold on, the sorry. audience was- This is a completely different clip here, so we're not going to share that. Uh, forgive me for thinking that Us Magazine had the right clip. Uh, Gigi uh, appeared on season one of Love is Blind, getting engaged to Damien Powers. I actually saw Damien Powers at the F-Boy a premiere, very tall, strong guy. While the pair split on their wedding day, they reconnected after the camera stopped rolling. The duo called it quits for good in 2021 after he was accused of cheating on her with too hot to handles Francesca Farrago, which he denied. She said, me and Damien haven't been dating for a couple months now. I've moved on. I feel really, really good. I'm definitely at a really good place in my life. For the first time in the in like three years, I feel like I don't have to keep some sort of my life private anymore. We were just on a wraps about everything. Okay, so anyway, she starts dating Blake. And then, I mean, she was supposed to be on another reality show after that, but she had to tell her... Uh, agent, I'm guessing, hey, I met a guy, we're going to make this work. Gigi was back to secret romances by the end of the year after she met Blake Horseman while filming an upcoming reality show. So we know they were together for a long time before they officially made the announcement. Uh, December of 2021, they went quiet on social media while in production for this new show, which again premiered on Paramount+. Plus. January 2022, social media users began noticing that they were posting photos from the same location after they appeared to ring in the new year together. A source confirmed to us on January 4th that the duo are dating. And then here they are in March. The twosome continued to share snaps from the same pages. They jetted off to Rome for her 29th birthday, a separate trip from Victoria Fuller's trip to Rome. These are different trips here. Uh, she said, I can't officially post him right now because we did protect together that we did a project together that hasn't been announced yet. She reportedly responded to a fan who inquired about her photos from the trip, adding that she is really happy to be sharing these moments together in private. Oh, that's nice, even though the fans, you know, spilled it on her. April, the former Netflix star posted a photo with Horseman on April 3rd via Instagram stories, blocking his face with her phone. So there's their first photo, the soft launch, if you will. Nothing soft about this pregnancy announcement. Uh, June 22, uh, 2022, uh, Gigi publicly addresses her romance with Horseman for the first time after the news of the All-Star Shore officially broke. I've never watched the Bachelor franchise or any of that, so I don't I didn't know who he was. He seemed familiar to me and he just flashed his big old smile at me and that's how I met him right on the beach. He's very respectful, but I don't think that they know just how funny and spontaneous and dedicated he is. He's doing his DJ gig now and just watching him reach all these new heights and all these goals. I don't think a lot of people know that he has it in him, but he definitely does. Yeah, good for Blake. I mean, the dude, I would love to have him on Driving with Dave. I'd love to to hear him go from zero to DJ. It's not too often that a lady brags about marrying a DJ, but either way, I don't think my wife is bragging about marrying a comedian, but uh, hey, this is what you got, folks. GG, you're stuck with a DJ. <laughs> uh, it's all good. In honor of All-Star Shore's premiere date, the couple shared a series of snaps of their private relationship. When you go on a reality TV show and meet the love of your life, Horseman added that he's just so damn happy. Well, they're so happy that even a year later, they're procreating kids now. So there they are, folks. You can see all that there is. Even with the, She even stayed with him when he dyed his hair platinum blonde. So there's that, folks. And then anyway, for their Halloween, they did role reversal where he dressed up as her and she dressed up as him crying, which, by the way, might be the best 
reality TV uh, Halloween costume you could ever do. There they are. Anyway, folks, so that's that. In other pregnancy news, here's Natalie. She's very pregnant, uh, uh, Nick Vial's fiance. So uh, uh, making, um, I don't know, cool pregnancy bumps back in style. I've always said, who, who shouldn't show off the, uh, the female, uh, the pregnancy body? I mean, it's a miracle that's happening out there and um, that should be embraced. So whether it's Polaroids or high fashion, or there's uh, Lace with a selfie. Let's go back to the high fashion. Congrats to all of those in the Bachelor world for all of their pregnancies. So she shared this an hour ago. Good morning. And then she said, ah, this feels unreal. I'm having a baby with the love of my life. Congratulations. I've got big news, at least updates, on what's going down with my life, where I may be moving to and all of that. I will be sharing it. No, I'm not do- I'm not moving because I want to dodge uh, court orders or any of that, uh, but maybe taxes. But that's another story. Go to patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, pat- oh, well, I'm not. Go to Patreon and find out right after this.